So Sam, briefly tell us, sure. um, how do you attract the bees? I mean, you just bring the hives mm. and you put them there and then the bees, the magic works. No. <laughs> how do you attract the bees to come at your apiary? Sure, thank you very much, Duke. Uh, what we do, uh, when we make these hives, we actually manufacture these hives ourselves. We have a workshop. Mm. So what we do is uh, after making the hive, there's what we call wax. Wax is, is a product that comes out of the bees, of, uh, of the combs, mm. which combs settle in the hive. So we, when you're processing the honey from the combs, there's a section of uh, wax mm. that flows out. Okay. Now wax is applied or baited. In, in our language, we call it baiting. Mm. We bait their top bars inside there. We sh I'll be showing you those bars inside. Mm. We bait those bars with, with wax. Mm. And this scent, once this scent is into the hive, the bees will always come looking for that scent. So once they come, they actually, it, it lose, mm. lose them into the hive and they colonize the hive. Mm. The other thing is lemongrass essential oil. I carried it in the, it's in the car there. Mm. This lemongrass is used to attract bees. You simply apply it in the hive mm. and the bees, because it has a good scent, the bees will always come. And as they come, there are bees that are called patrol bees. Mm. They come and first inspect the hive. Once they see the hive is conducive for them to come and let's say stay, mm. they'll relocate. This kind of relocation is what we call swarming. Mm. They'll swarm from one place mm. into your hive mm. and you'll have you'll have had a, a hive that is already colonized with bees. Uh, by, by the swarming, if I had my farm, my sure. bee, mm. uh, around, and then somebody else came neighbor, mm. and they, isn't that stealing my bees? Not really. Actually, yeah. one thing is, mm. why should one steal your bees? I mean, why don't you give your bees a good conducive environment for them to stay. Mm. I mean, well, the moment these bees move away from your place to another place, that means you've not taken good care of them. Oh, you see? bees can also move. Sure, sure. They will okay. move if, if, let's say, like you see here, mm. if this place was not slashed, it was so bushy, mm. and the neighbor, let's say, has a very good slashed and, uh, you know, well-organized apiary, mm. why won't these bees run away from here and go there? So it's possible. So Sam, how do you keep uh, the beehive alive? Keeping a, a, a beehive alive means having the bees inside still very active and can still produce or give you honey. Mm. Now this is what happens. There's something we call inspection of a hive. Inspection of a hive means one has to always uh, come and you know you check the hive you're trying to inspect and see how are the bees building mm. is the queen active are drones there can we destroy some of the drones what uh, are drones drones of uh, male bees mm -hmm. uh, actually i didn't talk about that there's a queen a queen mm. is the mother mm -hmm. she's she's female mm -hmm. then we have a drone a drone is a male mm. And we have workers. Workers are also female bees, but they are, they've not grown to becoming a queen. Okay. They, they simply do the work around. Mm. We'll have an explanation about that. There's a biological kind of explanation about that. So where does the queen come from? Well, uh, we shall go back to the other question, but these ones are okay. very important. Uh, a queen comes from eggs that have been laid by another queen. Mm. There's a mother queen that will always lay eggs. And now, they are specific eggs that are actually female, mm. female fertilized, mm. that will emerge as queens. If they've been fed, whatever is inside there has been fed on what we call royal jelly. Once you feed royal jelly on, into a, onto a fertilized female uh, egg, automatically it will emerge as a queen. And the unfertilized will become now the the waka bee. Okay. Yeah. So that's why it, it remains, many people call it, you know, not grown. Mm. But uh, at, at the end of it all, it, the, the waka bees will simply work as the queen lays eggs. Okay. Sure. So the queen is simply to lay eggs. So you're sure. still continuing on the mm. question of uh, how do you keep Keeping the bee a, a hive, uh, yes. a beehive alive. Mm. Inspection is the key thing. Mm. Inspection, I, I am going to demonstrate how to inspect a hive mm. later on. Mm. Once you keep inspecting a hive, mm. you, you learn so many things. One thing I may not have hinted on is uh, 
the bees also have diseases mm. or they have pests. Mm. So in you trying to inspect a hive, mm. you're trying to learn what is in this hive. Mm. I, are the bees having uh, diseases? Are they having pests? Mm. What is the real problem? Once you get to know that, mm. you'll now work onto the problems, you get solutions. In so doing, you're trying to make a beehive alive.